Hello everyone, Pastor Krumholtz here with today's children's message for the second Sunday of Easter. In our Bible reading today, we, we see something absolutely amazing. It's the night after Jesus rose from the dead. Jesus' disciples are in a room together and they've locked the doors because they're afraid. Suddenly, Jesus is right there with them, right there in the room, and he's alive. Jesus shows his disciples his hands and his feet. Those are the, and, and, and also his side, those are the places where his body was wounded by his crucifixion. When the disciples see him and realize that it's really Jesus and that he's alive, they are so happy. But one disciple wasn't there that night to see Jesus. His name is Thomas. The other disciples go find Thomas and they tell him that they have seen Jesus, but Thomas doesn't want to believe them. Thomas says he has to see and touch Jesus for himself before he trusts what they say. So the next week, all of the disciples are together again, and this time, Thomas is with them. And guess what? That's right. Suddenly, Jesus is right there with them again. And Jesus looks at Thomas and invites him to touch the wounds in his hand and to touch the wound in his side. And then Thomas believes Jesus really is alive. He has risen from the dead. So Thomas says that Jesus is both Lord and God. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't it beautiful? Thomas believes and Thomas is happy again. So I wonder what you think. It would have been wonderful to be in that room that night to see Jesus alive again. Now, I also think it would have been a little bit scary to see the places where the nails had pierced his hands and the spear had been poked into his side. But I think I also would have been so happy to see Jesus and to see that he was alive and that his wounds didn't hurt him anymore, that, that he is now there and he is well. You know, in a way, it's like we were with Jesus that night. When we hear the stories of all that Jesus did, we can see it in our minds, right? By reading or hearing this story in the Bible, we're right there with Jesus and the disciples. And we too can believe. We can believe that Jesus is alive and risen from the dead and right here with us. We can believe that Jesus really is God's Son and our Lord and the King. You know, that's why Jesus' first followers wanted to write down these stories so that you can read them. And by reading them or listening to them and telling them to each other, we can believe in Jesus. So when we read a Bible story, be sure to use your imagination to see and imagine and be in that story so that we too can see and believe in Jesus. Because these just aren't any stories. These are the stories about how God loves you in this whole world. And God's love for you is the one thing that you can always count on and always trust. Parents, the story of Thomas is found on page 492 in your Spark Story Bible or the 20th chapter of God, John's Gospel in your Bible. Peace be with you.